Hey guys, Bougie Bree here. I'm back with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is gonna be focused on eyeshadow, mainly a dark smoky eye. This is a look I posted a couple weeks ago on my Instagram using Kat Von D's shade Light Palette. Um, I showed you guys the complete eyeshadow look and I showed you what um, eyeshadows I had used from the palette. And then I posted a poll on my story asking if you guys would like to see a tutorial of that specific look. 100% of the votes got voted yes. So I went ahead and recreated that look for you guys today in a tutorial. Real quick, before we dig into the actual eyeshadow application, I wanted to just go over a couple like tricks and tips that I have learned over the years when it comes to working with dark pigment eyeshadow. One th thing, major thing for me is time. And when I say time, I mean how long you have to spend on your makeup, particularly your eyeshadow. When you're working with dark pigments, this is not the time to throw on some makeup and run out the door. I only work with dark pigments and do darker looks when I have no time limit when I have time to just mess around and play around and kind of freestyle and I have no time constraints. Now this is because dark pigments are more challenging to work with. Once you cross the line, you can't really go back. Kind of like with, you know, when you're going for just a little, oh, little wing eyeliner and you just keep going and going and going out, there's no going back. So that's the same idea with dark um, pigments, eyeshadow pigments. You're gonna wanna start light and build on that. And I'll get into that further when we talk about application. Definitely take your time when it comes to using dark eyeshadows. Definitely don't rush it. So two, another thing I wanna talk about are the tools you're gonna be using for um, you know, your dark eyeshadows, specifically you know, your brushes. And I'm gonna show you guys my favorite brush is this Morphe brush to place and blend out my dark shadows. This is a very small brush as you can see. And just for comparison, these are the two brushes that I normally use for blending my eyeshadows. So when you wanna compare my these three brushes, you can see how much smaller that this brush is. And now I use such a small brush because this is gonna help with placement and precision because with dark pigments, you don't want a lot of fallout. You want it to just go where you want it to go because if you smudge or smear into another area, you're gonna see it to where when you're using nudes or more neutral colors, you can kind of cover it up where dark colors you cannot cover up. So another um, tip real quick to help with placement, if you are experiencing a lot, a lot of fallout or just trouble with precision, you can always get a more firm kind of like stump brush. It's um, not really a blending brush. This is gonna help you with placement and then you can go in and blend it out with a more fluffy brush. And then last but not least, again, talking about placement and precision, um, you really gotta learn your eye shape. Uh, for me, for example, I have kind of, my out, outer corners of my eyes are tilted a little down, and then my eyelids, I have droopy eyelids. So with my droopy eyelids, I do not come into my crease with a dark color. I always bring my darkest color right above my crease just to, you don't want it to look even droopier, if that makes sense. Um, and then as far as the downward going, I don't really bring dark colors below my outer corners. Um, obviously lower lash line or lower like water line, yes, but I'm not gonna bring a dark color down into here and blend it. I'm gonna kind of cut it off at that outer corner. Moving on, we're gonna go into the eyeshadow application and I hope you guys learned something and I hope you enjoy this look. So now to actually get into the eyeshadow application, I've already completed one eye. I don't do my eyeshadow like this ever. I typically do step by step going back and forth between both eyes just for the sake of this video to try to keep it a little shorter and just focus on the whole application start to finish. Wanted to go ahead and just do one whole eye complete for you guys. To start, I'm going to prep my eye. 
Um, like I said in previous videos before, I don't really use an eyeshadow primer just because of the primer foundation concealer I already have on my eyelid. I don't find it necessary. When I'm using vibrant colors or darker colors with very specific placements, when it's not all just blended you know, together um, seamlessly, I do prep my eye. Now I prep my eye with Max Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Orc. This is a color very close to like my skin tone. They do have a range of nude colors so you can find one in your color. It's just a creamy base. I'm just going in with a flat brush. This is from the Pure Cosmetics. All over, just all over my lid, all the way up until right below my brow. We're gonna kind of create a like highlighted area, even though I'm not gonna highlight my brow today because we are doing the full matte look, but we're gonna leave just a little bit of space below the brow. Now, once I have that place where I want, I just dab it with a finger just to get any excess product. This is a product you have to work with fast because it will dry and kind of ball up a little if you keep trying to move around the same product. Now placement of this particular uh, product is crucial because it is a it is colored so you do see the pigment of it um, and I am going to want to cover pretty much all of that. The only thing I'm not really covering with eyeshadow is going to be this inner corner, this inner side. But anywhere where you do place this product, your eyeshadow pigment is just going to kind of stick to that. So the placement of this is, you know, important. It's not just kind of, oh, I put a little bit here, I got a little bit there. You want to make sure it's pretty even and well distributed. So now to start with our actual eyeshadow application, I'm going to take this Morphe brush from a, uh, it was a four brush set that I got. I will link the set in the description below. Today we are going to be using Kat Von D shade and light eye palettes. I'm going to first go in with my transition color. It's going to be this first um, kind of lighter brown color that is called Samuel. And I'm going to, like I said, use this brush. Always blow off the excess um, pigment just because you don't want a lot of fallout and you want to make sure you know you know where you're putting it. Now this is going to go from the the front end to the all the way to the end of right above my brow bone, above my crease, all the way up until where I placed the um, the the prep product that I used right below my brow. So I'm just going to kind of buff that on. And you just buff this on with very light pressure. It doesn't need to be high pressure, just a very light buff. Now I don't want to get any of this into my crease. I just want this to go from my right below my brow to right above my crease, kind of covering my brow bone, if you will. So now that my transition shade is applied, I am now going to pack on my lid color. This lid color isn't really going to touch the transition shade too much in the final look. I always end with my darkest color because it's easier to blend dark colors into light colors than vice versa. So now I'm going to go into this base color. It is Latest. Latest, I believe you say. I'm using again from that Morphe brush set. I, I believe it's called I Got You on um, the brush set. Like I said, I'll link it below. This is a very flat brush, it's small. So it's gonna pick up a lot of pigment and it's really gonna help you pack it on with precision. Now, this is gonna take a little bit longer because it is a smaller brush. And you're gonna pack this on like layer after layer, not just one simple little layer. And because of how small this brush is, it is going to, you know, only cover a small area at once. Now this, you don't have to really, really worry about fallout just because it's pretty neutral and just brush, you can brush it right away, blend it into your setting powder or whatever. So I'm going to pack that onto my lid. I'm going to bring this all the way up into my crease because it's going to be covered anyways. Almost fully covering my lid and this is literally just a padding motion where you're packing it on. You're not really blending this out or blending this into anything. 
You can bring it all the way out to your outer corner. It's not necessary just because that will be covered with my darker shade. I now I do also like to bring it down into my inner corner and even when I think I've packed enough color on, have enough pigment, I like to just go over it a little bit more just because this is your lightest color and you want to make sure it's on there and you have that coverage. Okay, so now that I have that packed on there, it is now, see I had a little bit of fallout, but it's really simple to get rid of that light of a color fallout. Now that I have that done, I am now going to go into my smoky color, if you will. Now I'm going to be using this dark brown color and that is called Cytri, 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 kind of your regular names on this palette. Can't pronounce them all. Okay, so this is where I am going in again, another brush from that Morphe eye set brush. This is a very small, fluffy brush, so it is a very small um, blending brush. Now, this, because of the size of this brush, it's gonna really help you with placement and precision. With dark colors, you really wanna just start small and work your way out. So that's why I use this very small brush. Now I'm going to start on the outer corner, like right above my crease. I'm not gonna go into my crease, I'm gonna stay above my crease. And I'm going to pack color on here. And then I'm going to bring it over, but I'm not gonna get any, I'm not gonna put any fresh color on the brush as I come in. Cause I just wanna blend that in all the way to like the inner corner. And this is again, very, very, very light and subtle pressure. You do not need to press hard because if you press hard, you're gonna get very dark pigment and it's gonna be hard to blend out. So you wanna lightly place it on, lightly blend it out and build from there. At first, it's gonna look like you haven't put any new pigment on, but we're just gonna keep building and building and building till we get to where we want. And you can see it gradually getting darker. Now I'm gonna bring this about halfway up into my transition shade placement. Not going all the way into my transition shade. and just such light pressure to really build that color and really have control over the placement of this color. Now, as you can see, the inner kind of gets a little blotchy where you're, you have loose skin. That's also because I haven't put any fresh pigment on there. I've just been blending what's left on my brush into that inner corner. So when that happens, I will take a little, little tiny bit of fresh color and just kind of pat it on there to fill those little gaps. Such a light, like, touch. Now, guys, when I'm saying a light touch, like, I don't think you understand how, like, I'm barely touching my eye. Like, it almost tickles. Like, let me show you. Like, here's my eye, here's my brush, and it's, like, barely touching those bristles. Like, like I hope... If you zoom in, like you only see a few bristles even moving. You know, I do it faster on my eye, but I'm just trying to show you guys like how light you want that pressure to be. Cause like I said, if, if you just dig in there, you're just gonna dig a dark color and it's gonna be super hard to blend cause that pigment's just gonna be packed on there. Now I'm going to bring this down onto my lid, almost in a C motion in the corner. And then I'm just gonna keep blending out until, you know, I'm satisfied with it. So now to finish blending out this dark color, I'm gonna go back to that original brush I used for my transition shade. I'm not gonna put any more additional pigment on it, but I am going to blend that top out. It's gonna have some pigment still left on it. She just wanna blend that back out. Just to blend those two colors, you know, more seamlessly together. Now, if you feel like you do need to add some more color, feel free to add a little bit more of that transition color. Now, something else I like to do is to go in with a thicker flat brush, 
This is from Sephora's collection. I like to take that base color I used on my lid, get some of that on there. And I just like to clean up the outer edge. So I'm just going to come under and up and it's just gonna kind of help sharpen that line all together. If you did have any fallout, it'll kind of get rid of that. And it's just gonna sharpen up that outer edge. Now just to complete the inner bit of this look, I am going to take this small fluffy brush again, and I'm gonna take this medium compared to the other two browns I use, but this brown color right here called Solace. I'm gonna take just a little, little bit of that, and I'm gonna kind of blend that out from my outer corner. And then I'm also going to apply that into this like kind of empty corner here where my lid color meets my um, darker smoky color. And then just a little bit on that brush, I'm gonna bring it completely under that dark smoky color completely under that, which is going a little bit into my crease, but like just, it's like the top of my crease, barely touching. So not, not too heavy with this, just very lightly with this again, just to kind of blend all those together. This is a time where I don't really pick up any new pigment. I just kind of blend out what's already there. And this is where you can go back and forth between your two eyes and kind of blend out anything or change anything out the other eye to get them to match better. Try to get that symmetry going. To finish the eyeshadow, we are going to take just a small brush. This is a kind of like a pointy fluffy brush. Does taper it at the end. This is from another Morphe set. Um, and I'm going to take that dark smoky color again just get some on there and I'm going to apply that right to my waterline first on the bottom. And then I will smoke it out of my lash line. Now it might tickle to have that brush on your waterline. And if it does and your eyes starting to water, just kind of stop and take a little break. Then we're gonna just smoke a little bit of it out from corner, almost to corner, under your lash line. All right, and then I'm gonna take my small flat brush back with that lid color and just get those inner corners of my eyes really well, make sure they're fully covered. Always like to put that lighter color in there. And then you can always take that light color and kind of fill in that little gap that you left between your transition color and your brow. Because this is a full matte look, I'm not adding any highlight into that area. So that completes the eyeshadow look. Um, today, I did add a little pop of glitter into my crease, as you can see on this side. When my eyes open, you don't see it. And then when my eyes close, you see it. So to achieve that glitter line, I am using Stila. This is a glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. This is Smoky Storm. I absolutely love these glitters. I have almost, I have pretty much almost every color that they make. Um, it's a liquid glitter, very solid and pigmented when you're trying to get that solid glitter. I'm just using, this is another Morphe brush. It's a slanted eyeliner brush. You gotta keep your eye closed until it is dry. If not, it will smear but I'm going to start right above the corner of my eye in my crease and bring it about three quarters of the way out. I'm gonna do one just thin line where I place it where I want it, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go back in and just solidify that line. So there's my placement line. As you see, it's from the inner corner, pretty much to my darker smoky shade. Gonna just let that dry for a few seconds. And I'm gonna come back in with that glitter again and not really make it thicker, but just kind of, you know, solidify it just so there's no gaps or, you know, we still have a solid line because I just want a thin line. And this is also a great product to use for cut crease or just even a full base color if you want a full glitter base. 
Now I'm really just gonna kind of keep my eye like open or closed, three quarters closed, closed, just until that really dries because I don't want it stamping or moving or you know smearing anywhere. That's the final eyeshadow application. Next, we just gotta put on lashes and liner. Okay, well now that my liner and lashes are done, this is the complete look. I really hope everyone learned something and you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.